Oh, Sam's greatest love story you've ever heard. I'm so glad we got to make it happen together. Yay! Oh God! Lo, let me suck that dick. <laughs> no! 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 This time where we take out the holy water. Good morning, everyone. My name is Mamie Mellows. Uh, welcome back to Monster Prom. A long time not seen in Monster Prom in Spooky Eye World. Uh, but this time, I'm not alone again. Uh, this time, I have friends over. Uh, Ink Wolf, another YouTuber friend. Finally, I have friends. <laughs> um, huzzah. Huzzah. I'm And Lone 42. <laughs> Uh, another Discord friend. What's rockin'? We are recording this on Ink side. It's his video, not mine. He's gonna send it to me. Yes. Mm. Or I'll so keep anyway. it hostage for many uh, monies. Ho ho. Ah, jokes on you. I am not monetized. Ah, shit. <laughs> be a visionary. What will be the next big social media craze? Be. Greek agoras, like literal Greek agoras reinstalled, reinstated in our cities, places where philosophy and arts are discussed by greater minds. That's a social media I want to log into. That's bullshit. That's it's Facebook, but each time someone shares news that isn't supported by real facts, they're taxed. And the money goes to the people exposed to that bullshit. Robert. From now on, a socially awkward guy named Robert will do everything he's commanded to, to do through the app by his users. Oh my god, I get the reference. Is that a f is that like what? Twitch uh, plays Pokemon. Praise uh, Helix! Helix be praised! Oh okay. my god. I, I thought um, it was a... <laughs> That was a movie reference. What's that called? Okay. Damn, I forget. Don't change the subject pick. I think. Yeah, I like bullshit too, to be honest. I, I'm pretty into right. that. Ooh, money. So like... wealthy. What did oh, I... no, I'm reading this again. I made Wait, a what mistake. What did you pick? Yeah. What did I pick? Yeah, the relatable girl. Oh, yeah. Um, did I say explosions or did I say Russian novelist? I think I, I said don't Russian freaking novelist. know. A Russian novelist, yeah. Yeah. I kind of changed my mind. I want to be on the love triangle. I want to be a superhero. <laughs> I want I want a relatable girl. Oh, shit. Y'all got money. Yeah, I got money. Yes. I got money. Uh, what criteria would you use to name your children? Use a swear word. My name plus the second. <laughs> Evad can you imagine Eli the second? That'd be cool. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, it's not. My name isn't actually Eli, but uh, sure. Baby Mallows Eli... the second. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Ba baby, baby Mallows. Baby, baby part two. <laughs> <laughs> the reckoning. <laughs> anyway. I said the phantom pain, but that's a metal gear joke. A yeah, non right. het heteronormative name to give them freedom to define themselves to their own terms. Meh. No name? It's just too much work. If you don't give Something... them a name, they're gonna grow up to become a Ronin. You don't Some... want that. Yeah. Something simple and friendly, like Bobby or Mary, I will research for a name that is pun-proof and joke-proof. No one will pick on them. Aha, this one. Give me no name. No My name? My son will be the one who seeks his own name. Oh god. What the heck? The hell are you on Great. About? I like Great. I like you... I like the joke proof one though, that's pretty good. Is this, okay. is that even possible? Oh hell yeah! No! Uh, mm. yeah. Mm. You're making your daily protection payment to Vera when suddenly Greetings. Everyone stop! Stop what you're doing and look at my majestic visage. Hmm. Oh, the interdimensional prince muscling in on my territory, are you? Not at all, my darling Viperus. I am here strictly in a business capacity. 
Business, you say? I'm all ears, except for my snakes, which are all tongues and teeth. Oh my god. Bags. It's simple as economics, my love. You're an aspiring prime kingpin. I'm a prince. I propose a merger. A merger of our resources, our minds, our bodies, and our spirits. Bruh. Dad. The fuck? Bruh, step off, my girl. <laughs> I, 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 I read. Um, uh, hello. Excuse me. Uh, 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 my uh, girl? Uh, this is my turn. Ooh, I, I don't know. I don't know what, is, know what happened there. <laughs> this is my turn. We move up in here. Lots of ums and ahs. Oh no, Vera's getting out her calculator. Oh no, not the calculator. Besides, this merger is financially viable. Good luck <coughs> asking her to prom. Mm -hmm. I think the last time we tried a merger, we happened for two years and then we broke off with Malaysia. Oh my god. <laughs> <Dumb girl. laughs> oh god. But how will you undermine Vera's confidence in the prince's financial status? Carl? But fish! So oh, smart! Oh, oh you got him! Before we got off you. the contract, I would hope you won't mind providing a full accounting of your assets. Of course not, my dear. As, as you can see from this spreadsheet, my entire kingdom is owned by someone named Carl. Let me see that. Oh, she hot when she's mad. Hiss. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> you <laughs> idiot. Carl isn't a person. It's a computer algorithm. It probably stands for something like, like... Computerized autonomous robotic light bulb? Nope, it doesn't stand for anything. It's just Carl. <laughs> you gain two boldness and one smart. Gotch damn. Hey. She's um, getting sure. on the Vera train. <laughs> okay, fine. Send me to the auditorium. <laughs> In the auditorium. Thank you. Thank you for Thank you. After yeah, yeah. rehearsal, you notice Liam, Polly, and Miranda staying late. You expect this from Liam, but Polly and Miranda, something's up. No, no, no. We need something transcendent. Something fresh. Liam bo giving us both back rubs is neither one of those things. Hmm. Ugh, whatever. <clears throat> I don't like your tone. Honestly, I don't know why either of you even signed up to help me with the inhibition performance. Principal Giant Spider said I could do this instead of taking math. Academics at the school are a joke. It's awesome. Intermission performance. Polly told him. Polly told me we're coming here for back rubs. Well, you're both here now, lady. We've got to make the best of it. Let's give that audience the best 13 minutes of their lives. I'll what? break up the bagpipes and the Scottish ward. Arousing speech. You have my specter. Scepter. Scepter. Whoa, Spectre. she has a scepter? Damn. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? That does sound fun. Let's do it! Yay! Soul lads, any ideas? No! You mean lassies. Lassies. <laughs> Ugh, no. How are you gonna get to do a great performance if we don't even know where we're gonna perform? I've got this, lass. Ah, uh, let me get me bagpipe. And... <laughs> <laughs> Just the most obnoxious noises yeah. you get from it. <laughs> anyway, reenact Snow White. Miranda can be Snow White, Liam can be the prince, and Polly can be every single other character. So, like, <laughs> Polly are the dwarves. Uh, She's gonna fucking hate me if I say that. Um. Literally, just throw money at them. People love money. Well, I've got money, so let's say that. Oh, nice. You pull Ink. a wad of bills out of your pocket and show them how it's oh, done. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That <laughs> stacks, baby. Yes, this is just like when I used to work at the... Uh, never mind. <laughs> I must say, this is quite similar to how my father pacifies the peasants on feast days. Truly, a groundbreaking critique of capitalism. Also <laughs> an anti-capitalism. And critiques of capitalism and anti-capitalism. Oh my god. Interesting. 
Rather than <laughs> using the rest of your money on this, you just spend a few monster dollars to print fake money with your face on it. So handsome. You gain two charm and one creativity. Day skip class, you just hang out in the bathrooms and expect no authority. Huzzah. I hate, bu I hate the world. It sucks. The bathroom is much better. I give zero sh- mm. well, I mean, why am I in the bathroom then? Well, I get boldness, that's pretty good. After school, you notice the bathroom lines are longer than usual. And that's not even giving out free cake in a bathroom day. Please tell me they're not your own cake. And that's not- And that's when his blood got over all daddy's chariot. Bruh. This is my chance. Not a problem. The good news is it's never a murder if there aren't three or more witnesses. Mm, good point. If anyone tries to argue, just remind them that a death, a alleged death, took place underwater and therefore is disqualified for regular trial. And it must be resolved uh. via trial by combat. Aqua combat. Well, Vera, you're amazing at this. Here's plus 50 money. Damn, okay, can I get some of that? Can, can I get in some of that? Legal, <clears throat> Legal Troubles Inc., you've come to the right absolutely 100% licensed authority attorney. I'm sure you'll find everything to be completely above board and in order. Or you'll be smart enough to keep your mouth shut if you don't. It's at that moment that PGS walks, walks in and his feet, all of them, stop in their, in their tracks. What's going on here? I got this, I got this. Oh no. What's going on here? What oh are you God. running some kind of illegal law firm? All the school bathrooms! Oh god, yeah. that's gonna sound great on the on the audio. <laughs> right. What? Of, of course not. That's absurd. Why never? Better step in and help Vera out. And then the one need needing legal advice is her. Oh god. Oh god, I can't. I can't fucking... What? I this can't mess isn't this up. illegal. Just ask this lawyer. Pull out the spider costume you keep on you all, at all times. You know, normal. Oh, and convince... No. And convince... Oh god, I don't, know what, do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna cock it up. Oh god, uh -huh. wow, she's got a nice... So, she's got a nice overcoat thing. That's nice. Dang, it's transparent. Right. Hell yeah, that's really good. That's styling. Uh, uh, I'm gonna pull out the giant spider costume. I think. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Stop hacking at me! <laughs> is it a? Is she? Does she know how this goes? Hold up, while I just look up the answer. My, uh, give me a two oh, seconds. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey. <laughs> No, no, okay. Okay, I'm gonna pull out the giant spider costume. Yes! Okay, nice. thank god. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up, me? <laughs> it's me. <laughs> I knew. <laughs> Go to detention, dumbass. <laughs> oh, oh, keep it in my pocket, that's amazing. You, you were about the spider. Costume you always keep in your pocket, just in case. And quickly, uh, ar arachnify. arachnified yourself. You turn to Vera, imi imitating PGS's uh, trademark thoughtful scowl with the practice is. Vera looks at you and waves. Oh, hello there, Principal Giant Spider. The real principal, Giant Spider, freezes in horror. Thank you for, for running the school so efficiently and being a principal and also being a spider. <laughs> oh, so you, cool. uh, you wave your stuff appendages gracefully, gra grace, grace, graciously. The real PGS blinks his eight eyes, his... Uh, Ma man mandibles mandibles clicking as his jaw opens and shuts but 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 if that's principal john spider then <laughs> heresy don't show don't do it 
Oh my god. <laughs> Did he just die? He died. Oh, anyway. Who am I? <laughs> Principal giant spider races from the bathrooms, screaming in existential dread. Nicely done. And if you ever need legal advice, uh, you know it, find me. Damn, you need, you don't need any right now. But to see Vera smile, that horrifying smile of hers. Maybe you'll need to get in some. You gain plus two, plus two creativity and plus one boldness. Oh boy, looks like things hey. are okay. Good, there we go. Damn it! <laughs> wait, to, wait to absolutely change it up on us. Um, sure. Um, sure. Uh, oh no! Okay. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Are you sure you? Are you sure you want to sit with? Vera. So okay, no. So uh, I need to know: Are we actually doing competitive or not? Yeah. Okay, we are. Okay, you know what? Let's mess up your run. Give me the middle table. How dare you! Ink. Yes. Oh, then, uh, you take your seat and. <laughs> you, you voice all these, all oh, these characters. Cool. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. The yeah. narrator. I'm literally the narrator. this whole table. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, God damn anyway. it. <laughs> if you didn't know any better, you would say that it seems like Vera and Polly are almost more interested uh. in their phones than they are in you. Uh. Darn it. And you do know better, and you know that, yes, that is exactly what's happening right now. Hey there. It's nothing personal, alone. It's just that Polly and I are very engrossed in texting our fair financial slave. Nothing personal, yeah! kid. Yeah, it's pretty hard to compete with some guy whose fetish is buying you anything you want. That's my fetish, too. Not buying things for people. Having people buy things for me, duh. Good thing he's rich enough to take care of both of us. You know what they say, true friendship is sharing secrets and financial slaves. Still, I do worry that this arrangement might not be sustainable. What happens if he runs out of money? Our cash flow instantly stops. Besides, being handed everything you want on a platter, in this case the platter being an online money transferring platform, is almost boring. Yeah, I get that. It's a little less boring when you're on as much acid as I am right now, but I say what you mean. <laughs> wow, I love that this whole segment is just me. Thanks guys, really, really yeah. love that. Lord, you bastard. Why did you screw oh me over like this? <laughs> Sorry. If we could somehow turn this into a business venture, then maybe it would get interesting. And we could continue to profit even after he's gone broke from catering to our every whim. And I think money is fine and all, but my favorite currency is chaos! Hmm, seems like the ladies are at a very exciting crossroads. Maybe a random bystander can give them a nudge in the right direction. Maybe a backstabbing zombie like Lone. Hmm. You can you can easily grow you can easily grow this arrangement into a business. Just escalate and delegate. Have the financial slave go and acquire his own financial slave to give him money and have that financial slave go and find a financial slave. Tell marry him to marry a llama. Marry that llama. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, yes! That is everything to me! <laughs> I actually had a dream just like that one time. Oh. It was all llamas, okay? <clears throat> oh my god, that llama was huge! Um, <laughs> context. We need context. Um, what? What? No, it's fine, it's fine. Except it wasn't a llama, it was an alpaca! Oh my god. And it wasn't a wedding, it was a bar mitzvah. But other than that, it was exactly the same! <laughs> I, I love getting it. To, I'm getting too into it. Yeah, I don't think this is my scene. I'm going to go check on my illegal law firm. Catch you weirdos. Later. I'm texting the financial slave right now. I'm telling him to marry a llama. Oh, he's only typing. Let's see. Lone, you will never believe this. It turns out the financial slave has actually been talking to a llama for a few months now. To a llama monster dating side. 
Oh my god. I'm sorry, he's, but what? Yes. He says he's a yes. commitment phobe and never really defined the terms of his relationship with the llama. And he keeps introducing the llama as a friend. But he knows it's going oh. because he's just be scared of being heard. Here is the thesis. I'm sorry, but what? <laughs> He's taking this as a sure sign that it's a time to be a brave and commit to the llama. And they're heading to the city hall for the oh, ceremony yes. right now. Oh my god. Uh, of course, he says you have to take this leave of our group chat since his heart and wallet now belong to another. That kind of sucks, but, you know, specifically a llama. Oh, so that's the love story you've ever heard. I'm so glad we got to make it happen together. Yay. <laughs> Oh, no, let me suck that dick. <laughs> no! No, 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 no. It's time where we take out the holy water. That is the that is the sweetest love story you've ever heard. Oh, or something. But hey, maybe you and Polly will end up having a love story of your own. The, 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 the chef it. in the back is just like, what the oh, fuck? <laughs> oh, where do I... Oh, I don't like any of these people. Damn it. Wow. Nice. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I do like. Uh, you literally took away two of my waifus at once, you. Sorry! <laughs> you right. dongle! You absolute dongle! The table you chose is quite crowded. Liam sits across from Miranda, who's flanked by two well dressed servants. Um, one of the no. servants cuts a slice of silver steak and feeds it to the other. Mm. <sighs> Seriously, Miranda, you have servants to chew your food for you! Fucking slave driver! Oh, disgusting! What? Of course not. That would be barbaric. The servant happily swallows the Salisbury steak. Um, I have servants to eat for me. They are called eating serves. Don't you have any? Uh, I, I don't understand what the point of this is. <laughs> it's like... Uh, well, uh, Man, eating serves. For us in Scotland, don't you have eating serves? If we do not eat, I don't eat food. Second of all, that totally defeats the purpose of eating. Just like I defeated them, stupid the commoners. They keep coming into our country and I need to cut them down with a sword. Nice. Don't you worry about starving. Why would I be? My serves get all the, the calories I need to stay fit and healthy. Like Wait a second. Wait a second. second <laughs> Excuse uh, me. I have no objective reason to care about this. But suddenly it's all I care about. Somebody convinced Miranda to stop this madness. Yeah, right? Like, yes. what sort of nonsense is this? <laughs> this is nonsense. Come, let's hear the <coughs> rallying cry of our brothers. Oh, uh, what? You don't do this at your kingdom? I can't do the horn noise, darn it. You don't? Yeah. What, you don't have people to eat for you in your big cities? Hmm? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe you should start this, start this madness. Imagine all the food you can Instagram uh, without having uh, to needed what both of these options make no sense i like well i'm gonna go with miranda over here i mean i, I think she i think those slaves are eating for themselves Un unacceptable goodness gracious but miranda look <laughs> at the content contented smile on that servant's face you think he's eating for you but he's secretly eating for himself yeah damn those poor people eating and shit <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! That's not what I wanted at all! No! That can't be! Gordo, say it isn't true! But Gordo can't say anything because his mouth is full of delicious Salisbury steak. Salisbury steak is. which is obviously eating entirely for his own benefit. Well, Gordo's dead. Traitorous dog! Do you want me to starve to death? Is that your plan? Uh, how do I put it? I think he was taking advantage of the fact you don't understand how food works. You stupid lady. Taking advantage of me? Scoundrel? For me, eat Gordo for me at once. I'm sorry, but what? <laughs> <laughs> the two serfs look at each other, then stuff as much food as they can into their mouths before fleeing the cafeteria. Alas, how will I ever get my recommended daily allowance of nutrients now? By eating food? You could try eating? Myself? But how? First how you she... take this huge sword I brought, you slash off your head, and then you take that plate of chicken <laughs> and stuff it down your neck. <laughs> oh, <geez>. oh. <laughs> that's pretty good. That was pretty good. But that's barbaric. Was pretty how barbaric. could I? 
you and Liam have a ton of fun laughing as Miranda learns how to eat food for apparently the first time in her life. Nice. It also involves a sword Let's and a go. basket of haggis. Hey. Anyway, Scottish people are going to murder me now. Um, I miss Scott. You sit down to enjoy a nice normal meal at the spooky high cafeteria as usual. Normal? 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 <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Lol, JK, something fucked up is always going on in here. <laughs> Today is no different. Nice. Hey, bro. Oh, hello, Miles. No time, no see. I really miss you, bro. Oh, God, I... I need to warm up my voice. Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you want to come and sit with us at our... Imaginary friend. No one else is here. Their imaginary friend <laughs> roars in the whole cafeteria shakes. Yes. Did you befriend an eldritch ghast again? <laughs> okay, man. You may have some smiles, <clears throat> but you're probably going to figure this out pretty quickly. Why do we have a wild beast under our table? Why don't you take a guess? He's asking you to guess because we totally forget our plan. We planned for these things. Scott, no we didn't. Shut up. We were going to teach it the piano or maybe the saxophone. I lost my notes. You take notes? No worries, no notes needed. You know exactly Not like what to do with this wild beast. Like music notes. Or like, yeah, actual notes. Oh my god. <laughs> what? The wild beast should be on the new, the new team mascot. Put him on the sports jersey and oh, let yes. rock. Go team! It's obvious. Go Tigers! To uh. turn into the next Monster Chef champion so you can split the big Monster Chef cash prize? Yeah. Of course, of course. Ramsey's gonna be happy with this thing. <laughs> it lacks yeah. lamb sauce. Oh, that's a great idea. I'm pretty sure Spooky Eye already has a mascot, but you know what they say, the more mascots, the merrier. I don't really think they should say that. Well, they should. If most schools have only one mascot, having multiple mascots will be one more thing that makes our amazing school even Extra special. I can see it now. The spooky eye wild beast that Scott and Damien kept under the table. Tables. What? Why is an S there? I don't know. Ra ra! We wild beasts eat the other team and make a face and try not. What? And try not to. From the east? Yes, of course. What, of course. what are you eating, bread? Yeast. Uh. Bread? Yeah, no, you, yeah. you don't want that. You don't want that at all. <laughs> Actually, why are you feeding it bread? That chant is pretty dope. Yeah. Well, thank you, Tons. The Wild Beast mascot surely be fun. That didn't even rhyme. If you ask me, I owe you one. If you were to nitpick, you could point out that Tons one slash fun doesn't even rhyme. That's what I said! But why would you nitpick such an adorable and genuine display of affection from darling Scott? Maybe because he has three brain cells? No, he has at least four. Come on. Hey. He chooses an occupation. Say a choice out loud, the rest of it is picking. Um. 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 Accountant. Um. Accountant. Stripper. Um. Nice. What? <laughs> Classic. Um, Classic. Is YouTuber an, is YouTube an occupation? Yes. 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 Uh, okay, Chris streamer, because that's not an occupation. That's um, also an occupation. Did it, you? It, you get paid to do okay. it, dude. <laughs> it's an occupation. Okay, can we just say cam girl? You also yes. get paid to do that. <laughs> Entertainers is an occupation. How funny. A TV. America's next cam girl. America's next accountant, okay. though. Mm. Oh, that's good too. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> can, uh, you that's handle, good too. can you handle the high speed number crunching? Meanwhile, <laughs> <laughs> the Asian is the one that wins. Yes. It's, yeah. It's like everyone is just like, you know, swaggering, oh and then God. one Asian dude comes oh. in, like, oh, hello. I got this shit. Hold on. Hold my. Calculator. Hold my calculator, <laughs> yeah. Picks up Obekas and does the whole shit like just like just like that. Oh my god. Uh, I, I, yes. Nice. yes. Where the hell uh, is I? I hate this. 
I have a generic uh, protagonist for Yeah! Hey guys, I, I, I'm here to uh, go to prom with everyone. How's it going? Um, you, sound like, you, you sound like Shinji. Who the hell is Shinji? Oh hey! It's uh, It looks like Vera's law firm is up and running again. And that uh, she has comma. Uh, she has some very special clients. But my love, you signed the marriage contract freely of your own violation. Violation. Yeah, violation. because it said it was a monthly subscription box for new designer drugs. And so it is, <clears throat> my sweet Sakurna. Sakurna. <laughs> Sakurna. <laughs> I, I, I wish you sent it like that. <laughs> what the? Sauerkraut. What? No, Sakurat. What? Sakurat. Anyway, a form my love is is a drug. Yes. Listen, interdimensional prince. You've been popping in and out of dimensions for quite a while now, showing up at the most inopportune times. So good job actually getting to one to marry you. <laughs> Thank you kindly. Say, you just called him interdimensional prince. None of us even know his stupid name! My adulcet darling, my name is... Redacted. Yeah, I really don't care. But... Nobody cares. Polly, this marriage contract does seem to be legally binding. You probably want to find a lawyer. <laughs> You're my lawyer! Oh, right. Well, I'm sure there must be some loophole. Of course there is. You notice it immediately. Send the table and yell objection. OBJECTION! Uh, it's not an actual marriage. Polly is dead and the interdimensional prince is alive. Hmm. <clears throat> I mean, you can't be married if one person is dead. How would the vows work? Your love may be a drug, but I'm a drug connoisseur. I can finally say that this isn't a designer drug. False pretenses. The marriage is null and void. Okay, I like that one. I like that one. Oh no! It's not so fun! <laughs> oh no. Not... At all, my love. My love. My love is the designeress of all designer drugs. And the druggiest as well. Why one kiss would intoxicate you more than the strongest of whiskeys. One touch would have you flying higher than the strongest of acid. One... Yeah, yeah, we get it. You want to touch Polly. Can you? Well, not gonna happen that too. There. Um, yeah. Well, and not gonna happen there, dude. Yeah, gross. But if you say that I married you under false pretenses, because my love is not a designer drug, but you refuse to try my love, then how are you? To prove that it isn't a designer drug. Oh my god. Ha ha ha. Loopholes. Damn it. It's at that point that <laughs> Vera knocks the prince out with a frying pan. She hid it behind her back. You know, why not? As, and as you do, as you do. As you do. Polly eats the contract. Eats what? Uh, you know, as you do. Oof. Oh jeez, that's not good. Wow, Ink, you almost trapped me in a drugless marriage! What the heck? <laughs> oh no! God, why? <laughs> ah! For real though, that'll be, my, that'll be free money for wasting my time and services. Uh, thank you. Ink. Oh right, sorry. <laughs> 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 Stop, Stop wallowing. Polly, yeah, I'm wallowing hard. <laughs> Polly grabs you by the arm so the two of you can talk. But of course, oh. you don't stop dancing for even a second. Yeah, this party was super crazy. For like the first 15 minutes, now it's just a regular crazy. Which is fine, but I want to take it to the next level, you know? Oh, God, I want this party to be uh... criminally insane. I want to be the. I wanted to be a danger to itself and others. I want psychiatrists to perceive to prescribe medication to this party, and I want to take that medication. Are you with me? Obviously, you're with me. I'm hot, and hot people are always right. So, how do we kick this party yes. up a notch, huh? 
we set it on fire. Let me mm -hmm. see if I'm charming or fun enough, because honestly, well, I Well, you actually care of yourself. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Give me the helicopters, because I don't think I'm getting the other one. He's crushing uh -huh. on Polly. Yeah. I'm playing, <laughs> I'm playing like a tactician. Uh -huh. Darn it. So Wait, bold. hold this? What the... That was pretty okay, bold, sure. though. Polly doesn't hey. even have to tell you how awesome she thinks your plan is. You just look at each other, nod, and head off to steal some helicopters. Mm -hmm. Of course, of course. I know what you're thinking, Polly. But it turns out helicopters are way too hard to fly. There's all these buttons and knobs. You finally make it back to the ra to the rave. But by then, your helicopters are out of gas. <laughs> So what now? We just put a nail on the ground and party surrounded by broken down helicopters? If I want to do that, I throw a party at the helicopter graveyard. I hate that place. There's a helicopter graveyard? Right now, I feel like the only hel I mean, real helicopter on. graveyard is the helicopter you graveyard inside your heart. I guess. You lose your charm right. and boldness, you scrub! <laughs> you Sub scrub. <laughs> Sub scrub. <Darn> <laughs> Remember to subscribe Ooh. to Baby Mallows. <laughs> yes, scrub. yes. Subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. Well, time for me to go to the toilet because I need that boldness. I hope that ink douchebag hasn't screwed Vera over. <laughs> your performance in that game earns you a position as first pick Vera's team for the next game. Sweet. I'm first. When you get over to her side of the court, though you notice she f notice her furrowed brow, she's having trouble choosing the next player. Hey there. Damn it. Mm. Damn it! <laughs> uh, as much as I hate to admit it, I brought you over here because I need your help. Yeah. <laughs> okay, alright. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, like, it's still me over here. <laughs> oh, oh no. Anyway. Not anyway. yourself, never get method act. You see, my acceptance at a top-tier business school is riding on this game. Everyone knows business schools hate losers, and dodgeball is basically the new golf. What? I need to assemble a killer team, but my skills lie in discerning people's weaknesses, not their strengths. Oh, Frank. That's, That's where you come in. Help me pick the best team, and I'll be sure to remember you fondly when I'm crushing peons with my business degree. I don't yes. think that's what you do with a business in the rest of your life. Shh. This is this is Vera we're talking about. Yeah, the anarcho capitalist. <laughs> what the heck? Picking teams is your jam. You whisper in Vera's ear. Uh, <laughs> you whisper. <laughs> Have you checked uh If Tinder? we win, yeah, we God for been full of leading those losers to victory if we lose. It's all their fault. Well, like what option. are you going to pick? Mm, what do you want to pick? Square up, Eli. A ba baby. Baby Mallows. Mm. Damn it! Oh, damn it! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Okay. Mm. <laughs> yes. Blaming other people for your failures is the mm. true secret of business. I love this. But how will I identify the worst players? Oh, wait. I forgot. I have dossiers on everybody. Like that lizard man there, chewing on his toenails. My sources tell me he still wets the bed. That yeti there looks like a formidable dodgeball player, but I have it on a good authority that he suffers from a disease known as ball blindness. So he Well, that's a, that's a joke waiting to happen right there. And that headless <laughs> horseman is a ghost. Balls pass right through him. Oh, no. You build a team of lovable losers and lose. God Vera chooses them out for all being terrible and records it oh, in yes. this portfolio. You gain <laughs> boldness and creativity. God damn it. I'm gonna lose. Absolutely murked them. Oh, what oh, happened? Okay. No. Something happened oh, to you. Oh no! Hello. Um, oh, no. sure. Um, sure. <clears throat> Whose turn is it for me to sabotage? Uh, it's the weekend, and you know what that means. Time to party down.